Oh, hi! Welcome to my studio. I'm uh, here surrounded by all these uh, colorful objects. This is my world. If you're here, it is because you are going to create today using fun everyday objects. I can assure you that it is a lot of fun because this is my profession. This is what I have been doing for many, many years. Creating portraits of uh, very famous people using everyday objects. A ruler, for example, is about straightness or about measuring. Some objects are about fun or magic, curiosity, money, power, luck. So the objects help me tell something about the people that I'm making pictures of. For example, the nose of Albert Einstein is a light bulb which of course suggests ideas and being smart. If we look at the portrait of Barack Obama, there are objects that speak in different ways. And that is the beauty of objects. They open a space for you to think. And each person might come up with a different feeling and a different idea. And it's all perfectly okay. In order to make pictures with objects, we need to learn to see the world around us in a new way. We need to learn to observe. There is a nice quote by Paul Valéry that I really like that explains this. To see is to forget the name of whatever we are looking at. What Valéry tells us is to do the opposite of what our brain wants to do. Our brain wants to call things by name, to tag them, to use the preconception, and we need to learn to forget those preconceptions. How do we do that? We need to play. Playfulness opens a space that tricks our brain into behaving in a new way, in a different way. For example, when we look at uh, objects and we discover faces in them, we are being playful. And this is a good exercise to learn to see the world in a new way to find faces. The faces are everywhere. And we not just see them, we also recognize their facial expressions. Many times we not just see them in one object, but in many objects together that form together a face. Can you see faces here? And how about here? So how did I start making pictures this way? Long time ago, when I was in art school, I was making pictures with a pencil, just like everybody else. But I was very frustrated with my drawing skill. I felt like I didn't draw well enough. But that frustration, that confusion, brought me to start looking for other ways of making portraits. As I was drawing Saddam Hussein at the time, I was looking at his mustache and suddenly next to my illustration was a box of matches. And I said, what a happy coincidence. I can use the matches as the mustache. And this is really how I started to use objects for my portraits. It was a happy accident that changed my life. Because since then, I started to create only using found objects. So looking backwards 25 years later, it is easy for me to see that only because I was confused and I didn't know what I was doing, I was able to find a new way of making portraits, a way that suits me. We all encounter frustration. We all have things that we don't know how to do. I'm sure it happens to you too. So remember that sometimes when you are confused, when you fail, it is an opportunity to look for a new way of doing something. And um, maybe out of this searching, you will really discover 
your own way of doing something which is the best thing really that can happen to you. Having many objects allows me to try many different possibilities. I like to try many objects for the eyes, I like to try many objects for the nose, I like to play with many different possibilities for the mouth. This is called trial and error. Accepting that not everything is gonna work very well, but no worries because I'm not gluing anything. I'm gluing only at the very end. And that allows me to have a space in which I can fail, I can make many different tries until I find the perfect one. Trying many different possibilities is what allows for those happy accidents to suddenly appear and surprise us. When I made the picture of Homer Simpson, I didn't like my sketches and I threw them to the garbage can and then I saw that the garbage can in the studio looked exactly like the mouth of Homer Simpson. But the most important lesson that this method of work taught me is to be flexible. The way a project starts is not the way a project ends. As long as we don't glue, we have the flexibility to change and to improve. And this is an important lesson for life as well. Things change, things evolve. This is how evolution happened. So my own evolution was that after many years of creating portraits in my studio, I started to visit schools and communities and conduct workshops and create with children and with adults. And I realized how easy it is for everyone to make pictures this way. How we all can play, how we all can be creative, and mostly how we all want to tell something about ourselves. So now it is your time to tell something about yourself with the help of the objects. I can't wait to see what you will come up with. And perhaps, just as you saw something new about the objects, you might discover something new about yourself today, or maybe about your community. Good luck, and let's get to work.